What is up? I'm Marcel and welcome back to The Modern Filmmaker. In this DaVinci Resolve tutorial, we're going with the best settings for Instagram. From the best project settings to the best export settings, everything you need to know to make sure you're getting the sharpest uploads to Instagram from DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. So the first thing to know about getting the highest quality uploads to Instagram is you gotta give Instagram what it wants. If you give Instagram something foreign, it could convert it and manipulate it, which could leave all kinds of quality behind in the process. So today we're gonna go over how to get everything that Instagram wants out of DaVinci Resolve 17. So the first key to quality on Instagram is your resolution, which is the size and shape of your video. There's officially four supported resolutions on Instagram. And the first one being the normal square post, which is one to one ratio, which is 1080 by 1080. The next is the landscape, which would be 1080 by 608. Uh, and then the Instagram portrait, uh, which is 1080 by 1350. And the Instagram story resolution, which is 1080 by 1920. It's just the HD resolution, 1920 by 1080 backwards. So make sure to take a screenshot of this so you can keep it somewhere uh, to remember these resolutions depending on what size and frame you're looking for. So in Resolve, if I make a new project, I can go to File and then Project Settings to set up one of those new resolutions. Uh, in the Master Settings under Timeline Resolution, this is what you'll want to change to get your timeline into one of those resolutions for Instagram. Uh, now here you'll click this drop down and go up to Custom and here you'll be able to change it to uh, 1080 by let's say 1350. That's the normal portrait post. I love the normal portrait post because it kind of takes up the entire screen when somebody swipes past it, but it doesn't take up more than that. So they don't have to click into it like they would with the story post. Uh, so I love the normal portrait 1080 by 1350. And then from there, frame rate. Uh, Instagram suggests a frame rate of 30 frames a second. Now I've used 23 all the way up to 60 and I believe what'll happen if you try to use 60 is it'll just cut off the extra frames uh, and pretty much just make it 30 frames a second. But then again, that that could leave it up to Instagram to convert it again, uh, possibly messing up the quality. So if you can, try to use 30 frames a second to start. And then another thing you could do, of course, is come over to presets and click save as, and you could save this as Insta Portrait. And now you have a shortcut for next time, or you could do this for all the different Instagram resolutions and kind of just have a fast pass, a quick way to get there. So if you're in a project where you already have edits that you want to turn into Instagram posts, uh, or you already have a bunch of media in there that you want to turn into Instagram post, and the project's not set up for Instagram, then all you have to do is make a custom timeline within that project. And in the media pool, in the edit tab, uh, if you open that, all you have to do is right click and then timelines, create new timeline, and then you can name it to whatever you want. For this, I'll name it Tetra Insta, and then where it says use project settings, click that, and then you can come into format, and you can make custom settings for the Instagram post, uh, an Instagram timeline. So if I click this drop down, I can go up here to custom, just like we did with the project settings, and then come in here to 1080 by, let's say 608. Let's do a wide uh, post this time. And then come down to frame rate and go down to 30 and hit create. And then from there, I can drag in the video that I wanna turn into an Instagram video. And it's already in the perfect Instagram resolution and ready to go. So now that everything's already set up in an Instagram perfect timeline, the last thing there is to do is deliver. And the perfect export delivery settings uh, can be a little complex and there's a lot of different resources and information online. Uh, but I can definitely tell you what works inside of DaVinci Resolve really well for me and kind of how I've interpolated what I've heard and what I've read from others. So Instagram says it has a 15 megabyte file limit. So really we just wanna keep everything under that file size while keeping the best quality that we can. So here's what I've learned gives me the absolute sharpest results at a DaVinci Resolve for Instagram. After you name your file and tell it where to deliver to, under video, uh, I always use MP4 because that's what Instagram suggests, as well as H.264. Encoder depends on whether you're using NVIDIA or whether you're just using your processor. I'm just gonna use my processor for now. And then under custom, you'll see that it's got our custom Instagram resolution and it has our frame rate. And down where it says quality is where we need to pay attention here because uh, it's the bit rate that we need to manipulate to get this file size under 15 megabytes while still uh, having as much quality as we can. Uh, I've found that anywhere between 2,500 to 3,500 will work. Now, that is kind of depending on the size and the length of your video. Now, if you have a story size video, that's the biggest resolution, 1080 by 1920, and it's a minute long. 
then you may want to bump that down to 2500 uh, because that's going to be a longer, bigger file size because it's a bigger size and a longer video. Now, if you have a shorter, smaller video, like a 15 second square one to one ratio, 1080 by 1080, then, you know, 3500 probably works great. For me, anywhere between that 2500 and 3500 works to keep it under that file size while still getting maximum quality. Uh, so from here, I'll go to encoder and just click high and then go to add to render queue and render out and we're ready for Instagram. Now put on the phone, upload, bada bing, bada boom. So I hope this video helps and I know it's a lot to keep in mind all for a small social media platform, but for videographers, we all know it can be so vital to our career uh, to post on Instagram, to get new clients, to make new connections, or just to check out what's dope in the videography scene. So if you like the video, go down there and smash that like button. If you didn't like the video, maybe just lightly tap the like button. Of course, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. I try to always reply. Make sure to subscribe if you like videos on DaVinci Resolve and videography. And as always, I'm Marcel, and this has been The Modern Filmmaker. I'll see you all next time. Peace.